We had several clear examples of Scotland's lack of powers and the needs for independence, which were highlighted by the bills which Scottish members of Parliament introduced on areas such as workers' rights, corporate homicide, asylum seekers, benefit sanctions and my own energy prices bill. Presentation of Bill Martin Day. Energy pricing bill. Any normal country would be able to decide these matters for itself. As we emerge from the restrictions, I highlighted the need for government underwriting of events to get this part of the hospitality sector moving again. Can the Minister not see the necessity of extending events insurance if more events like this one are to go ahead? In the votes this week, on the steel industry debate, I backed urgent legislative action to protect the industry and prevent it being undermined by unfair competition from overseas. On the Armed Forces Bill, I supported placing legal responsibility to have due regard to the Armed Forces Covenant on central government and the devolved administrations. I supported requiring accommodation provided to service people in Scotland meet the Scottish Housing Quality Standard and supported capping the fee for indefinite leave to remain payments by Commonwealth and Gurkha members of the Armed Forces, all of which were rejected by government. On social care, I highlighted the dilemma that Scotland's lack of powers are impacting on our own decisions in this area. What recent consideration has the UK give, government given to exempting the Scottish government's £500 thank you payment for health and social care staff from tax and benefit deductions? And finally, as the settled status deadline fast approaches, the SNP is calling on the UK government to automatically grant post-Brexit residence status to prevent a cliff edge for EU nationals and a black hole in Scotland's care sector. In case anyone needs reminding, Scotland has elected a pro-independence majority in Parliament committed to holding a post-pandemic referendum. And it's good to see the first Labour MSP recognise that people in Scotland are entitled to democracy. Meanwhile, Gove and the Tories' union unit have been exposed for using Covid pandemic contracts for pursuing their unionist agenda. The deadline for settled status applications is the 30th of this month, a few days' time. If you know any EU citizen who has yet to apply, please encourage them to do so. As always, I can be contacted for online advice consultations. Please do get in touch if you would like one arranged. And until next week, stay safe.